Hello and welcome. Please read the problem. I would sketch this diagram out. It looks overwhelming. We get a ruler, sketch it out, try this problem on your own, and then resume the video. Okay, so let's read this problem together. And as we read it, I'm going to actually uh, kind of draw over these lines here to make sense of what's happening. So we're told that lines EC, so I'm going to find the points E and C. Here's E and C. So I'm going to extend this line right here. That's line EC. And I'm going to color code every line purple as parallel. IL and AB are parallel. So I find the points I and L. And then A and B moves this way. Right? It doesn't really matter, I guess, because the lines are blown in both directions. Those three lines are parallel. They're cut by transversals EL. So we're going to find EL. Uh, here's the point E again and L. So this red line is one transversal. FM, that's this line. See, point M's here, but the line FM keeps going past that. And EB and CA. So EB is here, and CA is there. So these lines aren't parallel to each other, but they're transversals. Remember that transversals are just lines that cross parallel lines. They want to know here what's the measure of this blue angle of point E. So I'm going to just color that in there. Okay, so this is the angle we're going for. This is our goal. Okay, so what do we do here? Well, I look at what's given here. I see we've got 122.5 degrees. That's this angle. And we've got 82.66 degrees over here. 5x plus 3176 is representing this angle. And 30.21 plus 10x is representing this angle here. So one thing I notice as I'm working on this is that 5x plus 31.76 is vertical to this angle here, right? This angle. And this angle, if you look at the letters, it's FML. So FML. And those angles are equal, they're vertical angles. And that angle, furthermore, is an alternate interior angle to this angle, which is green, represented by 30.21 plus 10x. We can call it angle C. F M right here. So that's this green angle, and I'll use green to label it, right? So we've got angle C F M. So these two angles are alternate interior angles. Again, interior means between or inside these parallel lines. Alternate because they're on different sides of this transversal, and those are equal to each other. So I don't really know, you know, at this point, you might not even know where this problem is going, but we recognize something that these two expressions are equal. So let's work with that. Set the two expressions equal to each other. 5x plus 31.76. Set it equal to 30.21 plus 10x. Once the equation is set up, we can begin to balance it and solve for x. So I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. This brings my x's to the same side. I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. So these x's cancel out, and we've got 31.76 equals 30.21 plus 5x, right? 10x minus 5x is 5x. Now I'm going to isolate my variable by subtracting 30.21 from both sides. 30.21. And here, on the right side, all that's left is 5x. The 30.21s cancel out. And we're subtracting 31.76 minus 30.21. And that's just 1.55. Now we divide both sides by 5. We're going to solve for x here. We're isolating it. Right? And we get that x equals what? Well, I think of 155 divided by 5 as being structurally similar. Right? That would be 31. But here this is 100 times smaller. Right? It's two place values smaller. So it's 0 0.31 and that's x. Now this is only going to help us because it allows us to find the value of those angles. If we plug those, that x value back into our expression on the left here or on the right, so I'm going to plug it into, these, I mean these two expressions are equal, right? So we can plug it into either one. I'm going to plug it into this one here on the right. Multiplying by 10 is just friendlier for me, especially when we're dealing with decimals. So we have 30.21 plus 10 times 0 0.31. 10 times 0 0.31 is just 3.1. And we're adding that to 30.21. And that's just 33.31 degrees. OK, so let's go back up here. So this angle, CFM, we just said that equals 33.31 degrees. And that's also equal to FML, which is also 33.31 degrees. And I'm going to kind of move over here now to the shape that we're dealing with. 
what I, what I see that stands out to me is this triangle here. Now, there are lots of ways to solve this problem, but I'm going to use a triangle because you already have two of the angles. We have this 122.5 degree angle here, right? That's this angle. And we also have the CFM angle over here. I'm going to now label it orange. I'll switch colors so we can see a little bit better. CFM is 33.31. And we need this third angle, E, which is the third angle in a triangle. So all together, right, in this triangle, all of the angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So basically, we've got to add up to a 180 degree triangle. And we already have 33.31 degrees, and we already have 122.75 degrees. So I'm going to subtract that sum from 180, and that'll tell me what angle E must equal. And if we work that out, we get 23.94 degrees. All right, hope this helped.